Hi, it's I Heart Jesus 93 and this is my smoky eye look inspired by Kim Kardashian who is an amazing celebrity with great makeup. So here's the picture. It inspired me. Just picture with a smoky eye. So that inspired this makeup look. So let's get started. First for a base, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild um, it's like a cream eyeshadow, like any champagne cream eyeshadow will work. And this one's in Pixie, so I just take it and apply it to my lid. And then I just kind of take my finger and rub it in. And of course make sure that your hands are sanitized before you do this. Just to keep bacteria off of there. And this is what it looked like, but this is after a long day of going to work. I just got home from work. Okay, well, there's like something in my eye. I'm sorry, guys. Ugh. Next, we're going to take two eyeshadows. I am taking. Hmm. Sorry, my mirror that I'm using like fell over. There we go. Okay. I am taking this color right here looks like this and this kind of reddish brown right here and it looks like that so these two colors together if you have something that works it's one shadow you can use whatever shadows you want mine's coming from the GOV USA palette so I'm just taking that and just putting it on my lid So, I'm probably going to apply it a couple of times for pigmentation. So, two browns together, like that. Next, um, I'm taking, this is going to be our main highlight color. Looks like that, just normal highlight, kind of off-white, tan, shimmery. So I'm taking some of this and I'm applying that on top of that on our lid. So it's just like a nice brownish tan. It's a little shimmery for fun. Next, I'm going to take two colors from Ulta. And I don't know what colors they're called because the thing that um, says the colors is in my other room. I'm sorry. But it's these two colors. One is like a very dark brown with gold glitter. It's so dark it's like a black. And the other is a medium shiny brown. It's very pretty. So I'm just taking these both colors together like this. And putting it in my crease. Okay, so you're just going to keep applying it in your crease. The mirror I'm using for this is not working very well. It's a different mirror than I usually use. So just apply that in your crease. Like that. So it's a little dark. Next you're going to take um, a blending brush. I am using, it's actually a nail brush, but it got too soft. You can you, get these at craft stores or you can use a MAC like 217 or something. And you're just taking it and just sort of blending. These are something that is really good to invest in. This one was like $10. Because what they do is amazing. Like a normal eyeshadow brush like this. I mean, just anything to pat it on, I think, is not something you really need to spend a lot of money on. But something like this is. So just blend it like that. Next, you can take. I'm taking a different brush. Or you can just clean that one off. And I'm going to apply um, the dark one, the dark brown that looks like it's almost black, to the outside corner. 
like this. So it looks like that. Looks a little messy, but once we blend it, it'll be all fixed. And I'm going to apply a little bit more black or dark dark brown there's actually a color by NARS that is like this a lot where it's brown but it's it looks brown but when you put it on it's actually more of a black color so just blend it like that so it's gonna look like that next I'm taking a big fluffy brush which I use I always use one like this for highlighting and we're taking that color we covered the lid with originally it's sort of this color Looks like that, right there on this palette. So just taking that color and applying it as our highlight, but also taking it and just sweeping it down here towards this portion until you really don't see any black or brown anymore, like that. And then I'm taking the blending brush and sort of blending it again. You can even apply more of that dark brownish black color. With the blending brush like that. So it's just all blended in there. You have a nice smoky eye. Next time I'm just taking Revlon Color Stay pencil liner and I'm lining my bottom. I've already curled my lashes just to let you know so you might want to curl them before you do this look. Then I'm taking my Wet n Wild gel liner, the black one, and using this brush I'm going to line my top lid with black liner. You can use any type of liner, liquid, anything you have. You don't have to get this kind, I just prefer this kind. like that. Ooh. Next I'm taking and I'm just going to apply mascara my Lash Stiletto top and bottom. And you can do whatever blush, foundation, whatever you usually do. I'm probably going to apply a nice pink blush to my cheeks. You can even use this for prom or a good, like, formal thing and apply fake eyelashes. Applying Lash Blast to my top eyelashes. Like that. So, that is our look. It looks like that. I hope you like it. It's very great. I've worn it to school. I don't think it's too dark for school. I think it's a little fancy. I think it's really pretty. It's Kim Kardashian inspired. Thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe over, I think it's over there, for more videos. And thank you for watching this. And I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.